So okay. that's a picture of the Trinity. Right, where does it say they are one? <laughs> Why does it say they are one? Oh no, no, what I'm but saying is that doctrine. in the entire New yeah. Testament, you never see Jesus acknowledging anyone else as God Almighty, other than the Father. Okay, it doesn't give me a problem. Honestly. Well, it, you... I'm not going to lose sleep when I go to bed. Do you not realize that you're contradicting Jesus' teaching? Jesus I'm, says, I'm if you love me, yeah, yeah. obey my commands, obey my teaching. What you're doing is the opposite. Uh, quite, quite honestly, because he has two natures. Yes. So this is how this is, you know, in, in layman's terms, this is this is how I get out. Not just an argument, but in, in my own heart, I'm very comfortable with this. Because he was fully human, yeah. in his humanity, he submitted to the Father. Okay. And, and so therefore I have no problem. But isn't that his teaching? So this is a man, a prophet, yeah. a messiah, a messenger of God, who's teaching you and you, you believe he's righteous, right? He's sinless and he's the perfect role model. If he's teaching you that the only way to God... But he's not only teaching me that. Wait, he's teaching you that he is the way to God. And then he's yeah. telling you what that way is to acknowledge that the only God is the Father. Do you not realize but this? he's not only teaching me that. Okay, show you know, me... You, know, you said John 17. Do you know before John 17, there's John 16? What does it say 15. about... Yeah. yeah but, you but show me any passage where Jesus acknowledges anyone other than God, uh, the Father as God Almighty. And then you have a point. I'm not saying your yeah. Bible is small. It has got 66 or 73, depending on your denomination. I'm, I'm a 66er. Okay, you're a 66er. <laughs> you're a Protestant. So your Bible has got so many books. From all those books, if you can show me even a single passage where Jesus acknowledges anyone other than the Father as God, you got a point. But right now, you don't. So when you say I'm comfortable well, bit, I'll just, I'll no, no, just happily defend. I'll, I'll just, I'll just no, no, you will right defend. Yeah, yeah. That's fine. But when you defend, what you're defending is not the position of Jesus, it's the position from the church. You see what I mean? No. Okay, then you show I see me. what you mean, but I don't agree. Okay, with, yeah. either what you showed me so far about the Trinity is from the church, not from the Bible. You haven't given me a single passage from the Bible which would convince anyone that we have to believe not in uh, uh, one person, but in three persons as God. Well, I think I talked about Pentecost. Oh, where does it say about three gods in there? Sorry, about three persons well, as God. About, okay, so... You told me about the Holy okay, Spirit coming and the Holy Spirit is a counselor, not God. One of his, one of his names. Yeah, where does it say the Holy Spirit is to be worshipped as so God let, let by me, Jesus? Let me, give you, let me give you one story in the Bible yeah. where, where the Trinity is, is quite, quite clear in your face. God. Okay. Um, when Jesus is baptised, yeah. the Father is speaking. He says, this is my beloved son yes in him i am well pleased the father is speaking okay at the same time the son is uh, getting dunked in in the water okay the son is getting baptized He's by whom wet by whom by john the baptist, baptist. yes yeah. and just to finish at the same time the spirit of god is descending on jesus the son like a dove right so you have the father speaking the son being baptized and you have the spirit of god descending so okay. that's a picture of the trinity right where does it say they are one why does it say they are one? Well, it doesn't necessarily. So need, what you have done is you have you have used your a priori understanding of the Trinity. But why does it need to? And say then you one? no because why that's does it need to say because that? that's how you acknowledge something unless it's explicit like the way Jesus says the only true God is the Father that is explicit teaching. If you do not have an explicit teaching, what you're saying is is an assumption okay. that these three are there. By the way, when John used to baptize, yeah, it was baptism of. Okay, look. Of did, fire. And listen, this baptism listen, of fire was listen. to wash away your sins. Why is God getting baptized if he's sinless? Listen, we're both wearing hats. Yeah. Right? Did God tell you to caps. wear your hat today? Caps, caps. Did God explicitly tell you to wear your hat? No. No, me neither. But What's that going to do did? with anything? Well, God doesn't need to explicitly say that is God. spell out every doctrine in order for it to be true. A doctrine is an understanding. God created us with human minds. The ability to understand. Okay, let me. Um, and when we go to doctrine, doctrine yeah. is an understanding of what is revealed in Scripture, what is revealed about God. So this is doctrine. So not every doctrine has to have an explicit. Yeah, the the Bible is is uh, much of it is narrative, much of it is stories. From stories, we can derive doctrine. So don't don't try and judge my doctrine by by explicit scriptural references. Bible's not a textbook. Bible it is a guidance act, for you. It can act as a textbook, okay. but it it's it's mostly given in in narrative, um, and it, it talks about what God did through people's lives. We are people. If we are to interact with God, we need to know what He will do in our lives. Okay, and, and that's that's most of the Bible is is narrative. Is the Bible from God? 
Yes. Does does God want you to have salvation? Yes. Can you have salvation without the belief in Trinity? Oh, good question. I don't know. So can someone be a Christian without probably, believing the Trinity? Probably, probably in God's grace, yes. And uh, they wouldn't I don't think they'd be Are the Je are the Jehovah's Witnesses? No, 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 no. See no. what I mean? I have lots of problems. The Jehovah's Witnesses don't believe in the Trinity. Are they saved like you? Do um, they have will they have salvation? Are they even Christians according to you? According to me, if they hold to their doctrine, the, the teaching of the JW uh, Watchtower, uh, no, that, yeah. that will not save a person. Right. So it's, once again, I ask you the question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is someone who does not believe that the Son, the Spirit and the Father is God, will they be saved? That is not the essence of salvation. The essence of salvation is turning to Jesus as a sinner casting casting yourself upon his mercy and being born again by his holy spirit do you have to acknowledge jesus as god in that doctrine which you just said you don't necessarily because wow. because i'll answer why okay so you don't so you don't even have to acknowledge him as god no no, no. You, well you don't have to get all of your theology right not theology to... i'm just asking one thing yeah do you have I'm to acknowledge answering. when you're saying that jesus paid for your sins do you have to acknowledge that he's your god or not well if, if, if I'm going to get my letter, if I write a letter to my friend, I want it to go to him, I've just got to write the right address on it. Okay, if I write the right address on it and include the right stamp, it will go to my friend, I trust. Yeah. And if, if the Jesus that people cast themselves upon is the true Jesus, the Trinitarian Jesus, Trinitarian Jesus? Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah be yeah. careful with your words. Well, whatever. You mean Trinitarian but, but, God, but not Jesus. The point being, the major point being, yeah. if they trust in the true Jesus, whether or not they know he is part of the Trinitarian Godhead, um, if it's that Jesus they trust in, they will be saved. So why are you rejecting the Jehovah's Witnesses? Because they do trust in they Jesus. Don't, they, they do. They believe in his crucifixion. Okay, they believe that they, uh, y y your sins will be washed away okay. by his crucifixion. Everything exactly to the letter what you just said. I so spoke, that letter should reach God. I spoke to Jehovah's Witness yesterday. Okay? Yeah. He had a top on. It said, uh, God loves you. Right. Yeah. So I thought, oh, maybe he's a Christian. I'll go and, you know, go and be his best mate. I'll still be his best mate anyway. But I went to speak to him. And I just wanted to ask him one question, which is the question that I, that I most want to ask any person is how do you believe you are saved? How do you believe that you are made right yeah. with God? And he said, door knocking, right? So if we simplify that, you know, Jehovah's Witness door knocking, going and talking about Jehovah, they talk about a party or, or whatever it is that, that they do. I'm asking about his belief. Yeah, his belief. In Jesus. His belief was that because Jesus did evangelism, yes. he thought, well, if I go and do evangelism like Jesus, the evangelism that I am doing will save me. That was his theology.